um, and tell the world how much they've missed in losing uh, her sweet daughter. Danielle. Um, we miss Eviana so much, and I speak for all of us. Um, we only have memories with her, and it's not supposed to be like that. Um, we just miss her, and we just want all of this to come to an end. Okay. Um. We appreciate Miss Mack, and it takes a lot of courage to get up here and to um, say what she just said. It's been very challenging from the family, as you can imagine, and um, it truly is an honor as, as their attorney to represent them um, in this matter. We'll take a few questions if you have any at this time. No, we have not heard from all management. No one has reached out to date. Do you care to answer that, Danielle? Um, I'm traumatized. I mean, just to see her laying there with no help and not moving is all I can remember. Even though I got more precious memories with her, but that night, I just can't, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't do nothing without constantly thinking about that every day. And I lost my daughter, well, we lost her to a senseless crime, and nobody's doing nothing about it. My son, he took it hard. My daughters, they take it hard every day. My son done been hospitalized behind it, and it's just hard on us every day. Yeah. He was hospitalized because of the incident? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, he was um, acting out like anger. And all he would say is he missed his sister. He want his sister back. And um, he was trying to commit suicide and just because he wanted to be with his sister. There. He's nine. He yeah. was eight at the time. He was there that night and, and the, the complaint talked about requesting Yeah, he, um, the night that it happened, he ran up to the officer he was like, please let my mom see my sister. She done went to heaven. And that's all I can remember him saying. If you could speak directly to mall management, what would you say to them? Um, get some better security. It, it could have been so easy if they would have just escorted them off the premises and watched them leave. And this wouldn't have never happened. Yeah. There's a lot of things that the mall um, could have done. Um, and a lot of things that they were told to do before Aviana's death. And those are all spelled out uh, in great detail in the complaint. But any one of those or some combination of them could have prevented this, this terrible tragedy from occurring. As you know, mm -hmm. Concord Mills Mall yes. has been a place of violence for quite some time. Um, you don't need news articles in order to substantiate that. Just talk to anyone in the community and they'll do the same. Are you all aware of any changes that have been made since Aviana's death? And if so, what changes have been made? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I mean, sure. Yeah, I'm not aware personally of any changes that have been made since the shooting. And to the extent that there have not been any change, um, if that's not the de definition of callousness, I don't know what it is, respectfully. I think one of the messages that it sends um, is that this family uh, is united 
that these are survivors and the only way that this story gets told, the only way that we're able to honor Aviana's life and the, those that have been affected by crime at that same mall in the past is by for these survivors to stand up and to demand justice, to demand change. And that's what this lawsuit is about. We want change. The family needs it. So what does justice look like for you guys? What's in your lawsuit? What are you hoping to, to, to get out of it? I know nothing's going to happen about it. First and foremost, we're hoping that this doesn't happen to someone again. Okay? They need to implement measures that were recommended to them by the police and by other others uh, in order to prevent the same occurrence from occurring or something similar to it. Um, secondly, we're hoping to call attention to the practices of Simon and of the other defendants so that people know that when they go to the mall, you know, they should expect certain measures taken so that they feel safe. Okay? So this lawsuit is about preventing the incident, okay, and commemorating and honoring the life of a little girl who lost hers that had all the full potential in the world. I mean, this girl was incredible. It, it breaks my heart to know that nothing is being done and it can happen to somebody else simply from sen senseless crimes and um, them not doing nothing about it. Like, it took for somebody to get killed and they still not doing nothing about it. Any other questions? Thank you all for coming. We really